Evening folks, Rudd's here. We're gonna do a uh, quick soap review today. Uncle John's Pipe Smoke, new tallow formula. Before we get started talking about the soap, let me show you the uh, setup for this evening. As you can see, we use the uh, Carnivus and Richardson Eclipse brush with a 24 millimeter maggard synthetic knot to lather the um, soap. That Wellington razor is absolutely one of my favorite straights. Um, it's a simple little razor, but it's a hollow, full hollow ground, great edge on it. Uh, and then we finish the shave off with the Parasso Red, which I just received. And uh, I'm really happy with how the uh, how it feels on my face. I thought it was more of a cheaper aftershave, but no, there's there's some good skin food in it. So anyhow, so Uncle John Pipe Smoke. Uncle John recently uh, added the tallow formula to his line. And uh, we reached out and said, hey, you know, would you like to sponsor a TSM? That's the shave market on Facebook. Pass around for us and we'll uh, let the members provide you some feedback on the new formula. So John was gracious enough to send this along with um, Bay Rum, and this is in his new reformulated vegan soap. Um, I didn't use this. I don't really like the smell of Bay Rum. While I will say this is different, uh, it's still not my cup of tea, so I have no thoughts on this, but the uh, TSM community sure will. So that pass run will start probably next week. Sign-ups will be handled by Will Mosek, and I uh, will get it out to the uh, participants. So pipe smoke. This is a uh, cherry forward tobacco pipe scent. Uh, right off the puck, you're met with very sweet cherry, which I'm not a fan of um, really sweet scent. So at first I was like, Ugh. but as you begin to build a lot of the um, pipe tobacco itself comes through more, the cherry gets muted down a bit. Um, Scent is so subjective, so anybody that really likes um, cherry tobacco pipe smoke or pipe smoke in general, I think you're going to probably dig this scent. Um, loaded the brush for about 30 seconds. It uh, was pretty easy to lather. I wouldn't say it's the easiest to lather. It's a little bit firm. Um, I really dug in, though. Got a good lather going. This is what the uh, lather looked like on my face. So as you can see, um, it had the cushion I needed for a shave. In general, I'd say this uh, tallow soap uh, does what any high quality artisan soap should, which is hit all the marks for cushion, slickness, and post shave. Um, it doesn't necessarily excel at any of them, but it, it's, it hits all of them. So it's kind of like a jack of all trades soap. Um, Scent strength is, uh, I'd call it mid, maybe mid to low once lathered. It was kind of settling out for me. So I, I don't know if it was just that cherry pop was mellowing out or if the whole scent itself kind of just mellowed out to enough where it was just not as strong as I'm used to. But but either way, it's, a, it's definitely mid off the puck. Let's call it mid lathered. I think it was more to do with the um, intermingling of the scents that changed how it affected my nose. Um, so yeah, check out the uh, new offering from Uncle John's Tallow Formula. Um, if you're strictly vegan, again, don't be shy. He's reformulated his vegan soap as well. Uh, John, thank you for sponsoring the uh, pass round. We'll get these out in the mail to Will and we'll uh, start the signups here shortly. That's going to wrap up this review for tonight. Hope you all have a good Friday evening, and we'll talk to you soon.